Howdy do, howdy do. I'm feeling so much better today. I'm about to go exercise. I got my exercise shirt on. And it feels so good out here. And actually guys, I think I might have to postpone my little workout because that looks like rain headed this way. So, I, I guess you have to hit rock bottom before you can start climbing back up, right? Well, I hit rock bottom yesterday. You saw my video. I was not a happy camper. It was not the, it's not the, the Jesse you guys know. Um, it was bad. It was a really bad day. Um, I finally got some medication. We're going to... I started taking it. I took it last night. I took one this morning. Um, it's not like a nerve pill or anything or a pain pill. It's it's a medication, and we're gonna see if it helps. And, and I've been needing something for a long time and been asking for something. And so I I guess after that after them seeing me yesterday, um, I was kind of a different person. It wasn't everything that was coming out of my mouth was like soft and sweet, but so bad. <laughs> I was uh, I was truthful, completely truthful about some things, and I shouldn't have been. And but you know, it was the truth. But usually I keep my mouth shut on certain things because you don't say certain things to your parent, your grandparents, you know. Um, but um, anyways, I'm so much better. Okay, I feel better right now than I have in a long time. Um, I went to Nashville got paint I went in there you know I'm, I, I went in there flip-flops I did it was earlier this morning and I didn't touch my hair I haven't touched my hair all day like comb it or anything I didn't give a shit I was just like I'm cool I'm chill it doesn't matter I ain't trying to impress a fucking person you know um, so I didn't care and I went in there and we talked with the paint lady for the entire time it took her to do the paint, which was a while because we had to get it quite a bit. Uh, so we'd sit there. We bullshitted with her, even though she was, um, her religion is uh, where you have, you wear, they wear long sleeves and skirts down to their feet, you know. And um, my stepdad is crazy. And uh, he'll say some of the craziest shit you'll ever ever know and in, in, in public right there and embarrass the hell out of you well at one point he said um, something about well I'm tired of the eye candy in this direction I'm gonna we, we need to head on somewhere else in another direction and I thought oh my god Tom do not say that <laughs> don't say that to this girl because this girl I mean I'm sure she doesn't curse one bit she doesn't I mean her attitude was just soft and sweet and when she was putting on you know when you open up a paint can you put the lid back on you have to have a mallet and she was all ding, 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 ding. And my stepdad goes, oh, honey, you're going to have to hit a lot harder than that. <laughs> it was awesome. It was funny. I had a good time in Walmart. I didn't care. You know, I was just having fun. It doesn't. That's the way it should be. It doesn't matter the way anybody looks or the way anybody talks or who they are. I mean, just chill. Just be happy. You know, go with the flow. You ain't, you ain't got to buy that $50 pair of pants and and uh you know twenty dollar shirt you know you ain't gotta do that i'm wearing fucking walmart shorts okay flip-flops i've had for god knows telling two years or more you know i'm wearing a stained white shirt I d it don't matter you know if it, it's one thing if you're going out you're going on a little date or something but when you're going in public go to the grocery store don't give a fuck what people say or look at you about it don't matter what you look like okay just as long as you're clothed you know you got some clothes on don't worry about what they what they think or what anybody's gonna say don't be afraid to get out and go into a Walmart you know you go into Walmart and the whole motherfuckers full you know it's packed to the top you know with people don't fucking care you do you do you you know you do you and everybody will be good and if if they if somebody's got a someone in your life other than strangers you know if someone in your life has got an issue with the way you are 
or the way you look or the way you carry yourself sit them down and say hey look I don't judge you on the way you look the way you carry yourself what you do is your business I don't judge you so don't judge me so if anybody in your family is like that really sit them down because I had to sit my family down now I had to sit them down and, and I did it uh, about seven years ago and I told him I said look I am not your normal family member I'm not your normal cousin I'm not your normal son your grandson I said I, I am all about peace and love and I'm not gonna be your stereotypical son I'm not gonna go out there and chase women you know it's not who I am I said if you don't if you can't accept me for who I am and what I do and what I say then you, you we don't we no longer need to be speaking I mean we just need to you just need to exit out of my life you know so um, and some did and some did some haven't spoken to me since um, I have some cousins that I grew up with that um, I haven't seen their children ever you know and they're hitting eight six and five you know or whatever never met them not once um, my family is highly religious most of my family is highly religious and I am not a highly religious person I do I've read the Bible you know I am um, I live my life to the the best of my ability and I, I try not to hurt others and I treat people the way I want to be treated uh, but I don't have to, I don't personally want to pay someone who I do not know, a preacher, um, to go down there and, and read the Bible and give me his opinion, his opinion on what, what he thinks. You know, I don't, I don't, that's not me and it will never be me. And that's what I told him. I said, y'all go to church all you want, you know, that's your deal. Um, I did it. I, I tried it. It's not for me. I said, that's when I told him, I said, I'm, I am a highly spiritual person. I'm very spiritual. I, uh, I'm not, I don't go worshiping crazy shit or do anything like that. Um, I don't burn candles and hoopla, you know, but I'm a very spiritual person. I believe in connecting with earth, connecting with the mother earth and all that she has provided with us provided for us and um, I told them that I said that's not me uh, you know I don't when you want to call me up and talk about the sermon it's don't please don't do that you know that's your life uh, I said I'm not atheist I'm not agnostic I'm not anything I'm just spiritual I'm just spiritual and I want everybody to to get along I said there's no reason for any of you to look at me any differently because I'm still the same person you knew growing up this has nothing to do with me as a person you know um, this is just me you know I don't do anything in front of them I don't you know I, I, I don't do anything they don't do I mean I don't do anything they do in front of me so I'm nice there you know I don't I don't judge straight people, you know. Um, straight people are straight people or whatever, you know. It is what it is. You procreate to, I mean, you have to have sex to have babies. And you have to have babies to, for the world to continue to spend. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the way of life. And I understand that. I don't do anything in front of them, in front of any of my friends or family. You know, I introduce them. They know. Uh, I don't like the fact that they call my boyfriend at any time. I didn't like the fact that they called them my friend, um, just my friend. I mean, after six years, they were still calling my partner my friend. Um, can you not call him your son or your grandson or his name, you know? But um, anyways, what I'm trying to get at is if you... I was I was in trouble and I needed help and I've gotten the help and it's it's so far it's working so good and and it, another thing do not I just wanted to say do not be afraid to be who you are 
it doesn't matter okay you if you have to love yourself it doesn't matter what you are who you are or what you look like you have to love yourself and if you love yourself it doesn't matter one bit what you what anybody else thinks of you do not worry about what anybody else thinks of you because it only matters of what you think about yourself okay um, thanks for for watching I appreciate you guys uh, I love you for that I think today is day 140 that's awesome um, as soon as my apartments finished I'm going to start the new channel and uh, there's going to be a new way I'm going to vlog. It's not going to be, well, I can't say. But um, it's starting to sprinkle, finally. Look at that. Let's see. Do better. Sorry, I can't see the screen. But it's starting to sprinkle, and it's heading this way. And I might even stand out here and do a damn rain dance. Like one of my friends that I met off of uh, my yearbook. He said he's just going to go do a rain dance. I might even do that. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I appreciate it. Y'all take it easy, and always peace.